uh, we will have seven lessons during this course every Wednesday. Um, you can find our schedule on this link. I will send all your links to the React course lesson in Slack. It's easy to find. So we will have seven lessons. Uh, every lesson will be recorded and published in the internet. You can find it on this link. Uh, hello guys. So also you will have homework as watching videos from e from internet. You can also find these links, this one and this. This is a uh, link. It's not required, and this homework will not connect it with the, our lessons. Uh, so, but we highly recommend to watch this one because um, in this video is more practice. Here we have more theory, more hard parts, but here in how to use it in the real world. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so let's begin. So, we will talk about React. React, it's a JavaScript library. It's a not framework, somebody calls it like a framework, but not. It's a just a library which provides some methods to build user interfaces. So, uh, one of the main question, when to use it, uh, you use it when you have a lot of dynamic data. For example, if you have to-do list, if you have block, if you have messenger or something like that. But if you have just static header or something like that, it's not required to use React. Uh, so what's React? React uses declarative approach. It means that you have some data which describes your UI and using this data you build this UI. Also it's component based, it means you build components like module and it's independent. You can use it in the whole of your uh, application. Um, so, uh, I will tell about virtual DOM. React uses virtual DOM approach. It's uh, like a copy of a DOM, of a HTML page, of DOM nodes. It's a copy as plain JavaScript object, like this. You have some nodes, like a tree. But if you change something in your application, React will not re-render the whole your DOM tree. React will keep the first snapshot. And if you change something, for example, remove one node and add two more nodes, it will keep to the snapshot and compare this one. And React will re-render only differences. For example, yes, we find difference that this is was uh, removed, this is addition. So, uh, one of the main tool, I am talking about only topics and it's not connected, but in the end when we will be coding, you will understand what the part is responsible for. Also, React uses their own template which calls J6, it's a, like a Java, JavaScript extension. It looks like HTML, for example, div hello world. But it will transpile it as the React JavaScript function. So it's a not HTML. This is J6 was made up for developers like a syntax sugar because it will be very difficult, for example, if you have, uh, I don't know, UL. And a lot of Lee, for example, like this. It will be difficult to write all this code to your JavaScript application. So because of it, we have J6. So we will build during this course application like a block with article, comments, form validation, a lot of stuff. Um, and you can find code here. This is our repository, how to install this code. It's, now it's empty. Together we will be build it step by step. So I'll send you also this 
string. So if we go to Web Store, we can see our project. We will use Babel to transpile J6 HTML, JavaScript HTML to the JavaScript function. And also Webpack, Webpack we use for keep modularity of our application. It just can cut all our modules to one application. So also in index.html we will have just container where we will render our application and script our bundle with all our application JavaScript. Yes, let's yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes, okay, so we run our machine. It's I think it's the most difficult stuff from React to run this machine. So we see hello React here. It means our application works. So let's install uh, React and React DOM. So we will we will use SRC we will use articles like an API. It should be remote, but to explain the main logic, how to render all these articles, it's enough for us. But in the next lesson, we put it as JSON, like a remote API, and catch it via AJAX. So it's installed, and let's build our first component. First, we need you import React from React, and component is just a function which return J6. Function app return, uh, for example, h1 hello world. Also. We create our component, but we need to render it to the document object model. So we need to import render method from React DOM and use render. And this function first argument will be your component as J6 and where you would like to render it. Get element by D our it's a container we would like to render to the, this div put it here and let's go here works cool it's our first component let's commit it this news uh, create first component Uh, so, now we will talk about what the type of data we have in React. One of these calls like a props. Props is data which you can pass from your parent component to child. For example, let's render import articles from articles and to put props to j6 we need to use attribute for example article and render first article all javascript code in j6 should be in curly brackets let's put it here and this function in argument we have props and here we have uh, diff and here will be props article. Let's go to our API. We've got this article and we need to render title and text. So props uh, article title, props article text. Let's test it. Brackets, so uh, where? Yes, you're good. I'm a little bit. Uh huh. Yes. 
article articles so yes should work so let's test yes our first component and let's render all our articles to render it we will use curly brackets and write like props articles here we put articles articles we will use method map and here as argument we have article and return and question for everybody why my web store argues on this uh, code I will render it and you will have a mistake yes yes we need to wrap it do you remember that this or, is or we need <laughs> we must to, to wrap it because we will return function create element which includes trios to himself and other elements if we delete it also elements must be wrapped so we should return only one j6 component which includes his child so let's wrap it to it's a list let's put it to list and here we have ul props articles and go to here yes it's cool but we have also mis one more mistake okay, I have a question. yes uh, you can wrap it but also i figured out or i found one uh, approach and you can still pass there an array of items and you render them without wrapping them do you think it's correct approach or, or do you know about it uh are array here we have array yeah, you can directly pass like those two elements mm -hmm. as an array items and then it will iterate through them and you don't need to wrap them it's okay here we also have array of these components in j6 it will transpile it as many many components item of array so uh yes we have mistake it calls each child in array or iterator should have a unique key why again how react works react keeps first snapshot and the second snapshot to find the difference react uses keys using these keys react can uh, define this is new node this is the old new this is a new what should i render on a node you can pass it without key but from performance perspective it will be too expensive because react will uh, compare titles every title of your application after that every text of your application but if we put key here as attribute key and here we have article id yes as in database every element of database should have ID identificator and pass article ID it works now question if your server site doesn't provide ID for you is it good approach to pass it index here it will work but is it good or not Not why? Not the same. Yes, it will be different. But for example, first, this ID doesn't describe your object. It's just a number of ordering. And another really, which will beat your performance. For example, we have zero one, the second element, and you remove it this element will have index 2 react will think that you will not delete the second you will delete the last uh, it will not a mistake but react will compare also title text title text and from performance perspective it's bad to use 
<coughs> number of ordering. So let's put here, we don't need index, article ID. So about how React comparing algorithm works, you can find here. I prepared a lot of links for you. Logic. Okay. So how <laughs> from readable perspective, it's not so good write code like this because here we have J6, here we have JavaScript, here we have J6. For example, if you are working in a team, it will be messy. And it's better to put your JavaScript out as variable. For example, const, this is articles and put your stuff here and pass here only one variable. Oh, no, 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 yes. Article list, yes, it's better. Article list. Let's check it. Yes. So, uh, we have only one file, but to be honest, here we have more than one component. We have article list and we have articles. It's better to separate them to the different components. This method calls like a composition. If we go to our application, for example, our application looks like application, which include article list, catch articles from remote API, and article list has many, 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 many articles, which pass title and text as props. Let's divide our components, component to two, another one. For this, from React community, it's better to create directory like a components, and we have two component. First will be article list, Not all. No, we need the JavaScript. Article list and article. Good. So we will put all our from here to article list. Here we don't need articles. Let's import article list from components article list and put our article list here no need it go to article list here mm, i forget to ask you one interesting question why i import react if here you don't see react word Only once. Why we import it? No, only in this component. So yes, this is J6, but our browser will think it's like where, like this. And here we have this word React. So let's return. And here we have uh, article list. Let's use our ECMAScript 6 features export default article list you don't need the props here and uh, articles we will import from i think yes let's test it articles is not defined How many words? It works. <laughs> Mistake was, uh, I forget, I write it like this one, but it's articles. So, and now we need to divide this component out to article list. So let's do it. Here we import article and from article. Here we just put 
article and pass here title as article title. It's a props as you remember and text article text. So we pass it and go to article again import react from react and just a function react article we have props we need to export default our article return need to wrap it <clears throat> to be honest a lot of handwork to create just title and text but in the future you'll keep a lot of time i'll explain when works again Let, let's return article list pass to article props title and text article get these props and put it to the js6 let's think what the what is it props Props is just a JavaScript object, which include text and title. So let's return to here. Yes, we have two components. Let's talk about another side. Imagine that you have vacation, for example, for two months. Good. Yes, and you have this vacation in the middle of your project development you create a lot of components but after vacation you forget about everything and when you return you see this component or for example like this and it spends a more time to understand what's going on in this pro uh, component also the same approach in the internet you can find a lot of third part components which includes a lot of a lot of stuff it's difficult to understand what's going on in this component because of which guys from React create the next feature which calls prop types. Prop, prop types. What is it? It's a um, props, prop types. It's an object which describes every props which you have, which we have. For example, we have title and text. And we describe it as uh, prop types dot this is string and this is required. We can't find article without title. Also prop 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 types i think so sorry is required sorry my english should work let's test it works but imagine let's test it for example we are waiting for a number react expect number but we've got <coughs> string so this is stuff these prop types explains us what the props you have imagine that you have much more props 10 20 50 it's easy to read this object and understand what's going on here it was about prop types so let's talk about our application about the default prop values mentioned maybe sorry what about default prop values i can oh. set it there and this guy is okay i understand you zoltan is uh, talking about how to define default props in components yes yes we are talking about thank you yeah thank you you here you pass props as attributes but in the component, you also can define these props. If I remember rightly, it's uh, article 
define props something like that default default, maybe. No. default props and let's test for example let's add here uh, yes category for example uh, props category props category category and the category will be auto here also but it's not required or rec yeah required mm, thanks let's test it yes see here auto so yes sometimes you can define props in the component but to be honest i never seen this technique in the real world because props this is data to pass from parent to child but if we are talking data which we define in component let's talk about oh no let's let's commit this stuff mm -hmm. what we create we create uh, article list cool so to let's improve our application we don't want to see the text of our article for the first time for example it may be much more bigger and we would like to hide it but if we click to the title it will collapse let's implement this uh, feature so Zoltan if you don't mind I remove yeah, go, go ahead. because I didn't plan to create a group of the article uh, yes please for every component if you have props create prop types object you will spend five minutes more but in the future you will keep a lot of hours and another developers in your team will say you thanks so that require so if it doesn't have if we're not throwing error right? if it's required if you don't pass it it will be error we'll do, we'll do right now your JSON and <laughs> it will be a mistake you see File it prop type. The prop type is marked as required, but value is undefined. So, if you put it as required, you must pass it. So, let's talk about another type of data, which calls state. State, it's a um, uh, data which describes your component. For example, data which describes me for example i am hungry this st my state it describes you but if i say you i'm hungry it's not your state it's a props i pass my state to you you know about me oh this guy is hungry it's just information about me but it will not describe you it will describe me so to create this type of data we need to refactor a little bit our component i suppose everybody knows about classes in ecmascript 6 let's rewrite our function as class we need to import component from react and write like this class it's a little bit op extends from component remove it if you write component via classes your class must have method render this method will render your j6 to node this method should return your j6 but props you will pass as this let's test it the same so to create state we will use state that's all 
So, and here we property is open. Default value will be false. And here let's write our const text. If uh, this state is open, show text. If not, show nothing. Here we put just text here. If it's open. Do you understand what it did? It's a ternary operator. If it's true, it will call this one. If not, now. In DOM, if your node is undefined, it uses now. In JavaScript, it will use undefined, but in DOM and now. See. And let's see if our. Uh, no, 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 no. Elements. We see only h1. We don't have text. So we need to create event listener to here to change our state. Let's create method which we'll call handle click our function. If you know JavaScript, it's obvious that you will change state like this. But no. In React, there is a special method which called this set state. And argument object in object, what the type of state you would like to change. Is open. Uh, we need to vice versa our value. It will be this, uh, this state uh, is open. Good. So, set state is asynchronous function and sometimes it can get you value which you are not expect. For example, here we will not see it because it's really rarely stuff, but I will show it. If we go here, oh, it's too small, but okay. You see, we have two methods this set state and this that state. Obvious, if I call increment, it should be incremented by two. But not. This is asynchronous function. This is two another code flow. Uh, to solve this problem, sometimes you need to put function instead of object, as this one. This function, as argument, use previous state and props. And here you just use pref state count plus one. Double it and it's incremented two. In real world, I never seen this mistake, but as you see, sometimes you get value which you are not expect, because this set state is asynchronous. Goodbye. Uh, to read about this, I will send you this stuff. Mm -hmm. And this. This is not from documentation, it's from blog about React community, you can read about it more. So let's return to our stuff. We create method and we need to add event listener. Event listeners here we can apply by inline HTML attributes. On click and here we should pass only function. This handle click without brackets. We should pass only value. Let's see. Works? Yes. Pay attention. This one. It render only this. If I open this, you see. 
it's not it re-render re only this component. Okay, I have a newbie question. What is the difference between this React behavior and uh, jQuery append um, something, for example, or add element stuff like that? You know, you know, people are saying React is super, uh, super fast. Uh -huh. You see, and jQuery from my point of view is doing sort of the same stuff. It's gonna find uh, the element you click on and then append the HTML. Is it different there or not? Different between approaches. Here you have declarative approach. You have just data which you need to re-render. But in jQuery you use node to re-render. And in jQuery you mm, <laughs> how to say it? In jQuery you need to pass for every um, title or header every event listener but here you can change non, not only this state this UI depends, depends on only state but in jQuery it will depend only node elements here I can pass this data to Ajax request as a form validation and another stuff it, in the core it's the same, it's also append child, but difference between approaches, here's declarative, but there you need node, here you don't need node. Uh, am I maybe elaborate on this, uh, basically uh, it's about this virtual DOM, first of all, uh, you uh, manipulating DOM directly, like jQuery does, it's the most expensive way. You want to avoid this, you want to have your logic somewhere else on your virtual DOM, which is actual copy of, of uh, what you have. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, <coughs> uh, as uh, Andre was mentioning this component, uh, it will only change the, the places where, you, where your logic actually appears, that's all I uh, have to explain. Uh, Basically, you don't need to change the whole whole container or something like that. You don't you don't need to check where to pass the data like the jQuery because you will need to also grab the selectors and grab those node items and then pass it somewhere before or after. So we are still even grabbing this uh, DOM element is more expensive than in React where you can where you do this virtually based on proxy request. Yes, thank you. It's a uh yeah, yeah. It's a good yes. When to use a simple component and when to use class, it's about complexity. Good question. It will our next topic. <laughs> when to use classes and when to use functions. Do you see the difference between article list, component, and article? Don't pay attention in syntax. What the difference between article list and article? Uh, Just say. More interactive, okay. You know, article has state, and in React community there is a special word. If your component doesn't have states, it calls stateless component, and you should write it as a function. This is stateless component, but this is component with state. Also it's stateless component or dump and smart component stupid or something like that but the first was stateless component. This component has no state and you should pass it as a function. Here you pass as class. Thanks. Yes. Uh, so let's talk about syntax. We create a lot of stuff and let's talk about syntax in your project, this is ECMAScript 7. In your project, maybe you will not have ECMAScript 7. And you should know how to write an ECMAScript 6. ECMAScript 6 in classes provide next method constructor. If you extend something, you need to pass call also super method. And here you just pass
the same. This is ECMAScript 7. 6. This is ECMAScript 7. We need to rewrite it from arrow function, the first function. Hmm? Yes, but when you use arrow function as a property, as a method of class, it will not work. So, I rewrite it as function, but here, uh, mistake, cannot read property of this state. Somebody knows answer why there is no set state method. We call this handle click. Yes, we handle it. But this function doesn't know what is this. If we console log this, oh, we need to close. Now, this function doesn't know what is this. In ECMAScript 7, when you use arrow function, function new. No, what about this? Here we need to use method bind this. This function we said, yes, use this function and use this as a context of your body. And let's go to here. It works. But from beginners I see this obvious mistake. But this is because of theory. How this component works? If you change state, this method render will fire. As you see, I change state, render method is fired. So, if you have this function, it's a static function. I mean, it doesn't matter what the state, this function the same. We need to bind it for every render. From performance perspective, it's too expensive put binding to render. To avoid it, we just redefine this function as this. Could uh, Ilya, could you open, please, the door, because it's a little bit... Oh, thanks, Lynn. So, you see, it works. It was about syntax. This stuff, uh, prop types in ECMAScript 6. It's okay. Let's commit it. S6 syntax. But for what use ECMAScript 6 if we have ECMAScript 7? Yes, <laughs> let's return everything to... I will show you. Yes, I think it's good. Yes, when it's loading. In Babel presets you see stage zero. It means, <laughs> it means first blueprint of ECMAScript 7 standard. Yes, <laughs> the same. Um, so, let's return. It works. And let's rewrite. Uh, yes, I'll show you. A hot module refreshment. It's a plugin to refresh your React stuff in browser. You can use browser sync or something like that. But Are you sure? No, it's a not hot reloading webpack. It's hot reloading React. It's a just for presentation. I never seen this in real world, to be honest. Uh, I have some links to you. I will send you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This stuff. As you saw, it spends for, for us 10 minutes to install React environment. But for example, if you have 
quick conversation with your teammates. You can use this JS Fiddle, which is prepared for React. See, you need to write your own code and it will work. It's for, I don't know, if you have argue on something part of React. And also, please pay attention on this Facebook incubator create, create React app. It's an environment which is include uh, itself all React. Hot module reloading, S-Lint, everything for React. But as we work in Yes, as we work in Actum, we have our own Galp Dev stack, which also include. Uh, no, no, no! I need to go to Actum. Uh, no project repository. Galp Dev stack. It also includes React, only React. <laughs> Nothing else uh, yes, you can see components for React driven. <coughs> And render JS for init React components. So if you're working in Acton project, you can use Galdev stack. Now I'm working on the new project. I install it, and it works perfect. Good question. This Facebook incubator is directly from the Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's from Dan Abramov. From uh, okay then. I can say it's from Facebook, but I'm yes. sure that it's from Dan Abramov. In this you have to use ES6. In uh, our Galp Dev stack, no, I mean in React Create app. React Create app, it's ECMAScript. Okay, thank you for your coming. So if you go to Facebook Incubator, let's see. <laughs> I'll package this in, but I'm not sure there will be something to buy. Dan Abramo, by the way, works for Facebook. And he's the one of the creators of React. Yes. yes. Uh, if you go to his GitHub, uh, you have like there are pretty good uh, examples or resources. Uh, I'm afraid of they use ECMAScript six, but I'm not sure. Please research it. I can say sure. Slint. Huh? Slint. Oh no. Okay. So yes, it will be your homework. I'm joking. Okay. It was about syntax. Uh -huh. Yes, this is ECMAScript 6. Let's rewrite it as ECMAScript 7, just static. Works. So it was about um, Syntax, but sometimes you can find um, documentation which write like this. For example, const article list uh, react create class. It's a first syntax of React, but now in the new documentation you will not see this one. It's like an object. And here you write render function and it's the same as return, const and another stuff. So, but in real world now, nowadays, I didn't see this syntax, but some documentation still on this syntax. Uh, how about this static uh, class? Isn't it this being deprecated already in 7? Static class, sorry? Yes. This one? But I no. think the better approach is actually to extend the uh, component like we had before. Oh, like this one? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can, but you also can use this one because this is static method. If you were talking from object-oriented programming, we use this method only in this class. But it, if I remove it, it will not work, I yeah, suppose. My question is more like that this static is being deprecated in next stages with Atmosphere 7. Or there were some rumors like that. Not to Thank you. I will research it, yes, for next lesson. But as you saw, when I remove it, yes, it was defined as instance property. Sorry, I have to go. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. I have a question about the data flow. Yes. Data, sorry? Data flow. Yes. Or for 
example, are using this uh, JSON file article that you have. Yes. Uh, do we request the file by, uh, using Ajax? No. Uh, if you have JSON, you need to use Ajax. I mean, uh, where? When every time we change the stack, we require new data. Uh, it's a topic of the next lesson, but I will explain. You will catch all this data only once and keep it in state and change your state. After that, you can change your remote API if you would like. But you just catch your API, put to state and work with this state. After the, in the end of the session, you put your state to the remote API. If it's dynamic, it's static, no, just keep it and render. Yes, you don't like, create a new request every yes. time you change the state. This data... It depends on what you need, but yes. you don't have to. This data describes your application, so it's state. Uh, also, one stuff more. We debug a lot our components and I highly recommend to use next Chrome extension plugin, which calls Chrome React React Developer Tools. I think this one is available in almost in every browser. Um, maybe, maybe, but my uh, yes, we have Chrome, so it's work. And let's return to our components. Uh, React, we have React here, you know. You know why my my tools React developer. Sorry? This one? Yeah, but it's still loading. Probably it's still loading, you think? No, I'm not sure. Edit to React. It should be here, React, no, I do, I do some network time on it. Oh, yes, let's reopen browser. It should have been. Yes, you're right. So here we have our virtual DOM, as you remember, Lee, key, articles. And if you click on the article, you have props and state. And this is dynamic. For example, you write true. It's beautiful tool to debug your React application. Also, you can, if you have really big um, virtual DOM, you can for article list using search. Uh, so, uh, return, uh, return to S7. It's enough for this lesson. For homework, I highly recommend you to uh, our Acton course, more info. I highly recommend you watch these videos from Vesbos. You can find it in our intranet. Sorry? Oh, done. <laughs> <laughs> done? <laughs> uh, yes, from first to tenth video. Uh, it's not required, but it will refresh or maybe I forget to say something, it will complete your lack of the concepts of React. Next lesson will be in one week, in the, the same place and the same time. Tomorrow I will publish our lesson videos and uh, it's pushed to the, our GitHub page, you can see our code. From my side, that's all. If you have questions, please. Maybe something dark. Maybe I just want to add that when you create a component, this should uh, contain the source uh, later the upper page. Yeah? Yes, thank you. Okay. I forget to say it. 
uh, let's return to here. You pay attention that I begin from capitalized component, but if I write like this, it's a mistake. <laughs> you see, we don't render anything. Yes. Why it's a mistake? React thinks that this is not component. React thinks this is a HTML tag. But there is no article list HTML tag. Because of which React community decided to call it as classes. Because component it's like looks like class from capitalized. So you call it capitalized as your class. Export call also your file structure and using J6 from capitalize letter, first letter. Just capitalize, I think. Um, maybe more something, uh, but from my side, that's all, yes. We step, oh, I can say another stuff. <laughs> Cool stuff. For example, let's imagine that we have many, 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 many props, not then two. We can use ECMAScript 6 spread operator and we pass as it will work the same. For example, if you have many, many, many props or you doesn't matter what the props you passing, you use spread operator three dots. I suppose you know what is this operator. Well, you, it's coming to dot next recently. <laughs> yes, you have array or object, it's object, and you like a destructurization of your uh, object. And also, also good, like a, technique to work with state and props on the first line of render method you use like this this state is open you put out everything from your state using destructurization operator and it still works also with props Text and title. I think yes. Oh no, text. Uh huh. Let's text element. Yes. Um, yes. If we are talking a small project, yes, we have a lot of ton of code to create just this list of articles. But as first minute of our lesson, React provides encapsulated component. It means that you can reuse it. For example, article. You can reuse it here, here. You can create a lot of modules and just copy past, copy past, copy past. And there your project bigger, there your development easier. This is tool for big scale application which has dynamic data. To create only this rendering and collapsed uh, text, yes, a lot of code. But if we have comments, we can reuse our component. If we have a form validation, something more, it create our life 
easier. In terms of scalability or maintainability, this is a big topic. Even though in the beginning you spend some more time setting it up, learning curve, and etc. But then when your application scales, that's where you see how, how easy it is to actually work with this. Uh, next, 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 next. We will talk about component life cycle. It's what the methods React fires when you re render or render your component. Connection with DOM. Yes, we, was, we were talking about how to connect, how to make React and jQuery friends. And we will talk about form validation. We added it because it's a, one of the popular task in Actum, in one of the <laughs> challenging task, we will, together we will beat form validation, maybe in your own project it will help your development easier. Um, here <laughs> we will Later meet maybe. Redux on the first, le first lesson, here we will use pure React. Also, when we will meet Redux, we will rewrite our form validation to Redux. So, we will use every approaches with Redux, without Redux. With Redux, I would just uh, wanted to uh, recommend not to use uh, React uh, forms or Redux forms. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe, okay, we will see. Right. Thanks. But we Okay, thank you. Thank you thank for you your coming.